Hey, what's up everybody? This video has two purposes. I'm showing a customer what can happen when you have air bubbles in your fuel line and also how to determine the kilowatt output by metering the fuel using one of these float flow gauges. You can see right here, this is the equation. We'll get back to that equation in a second. This is about 108 kilowatts we're running at and about one cubic foot at 80 PSI. That's not standard cubic foot. It's a little bit different. So. Let's crank the fuel up with these air bubbles and watch what can happen. So whoever's running these burners needs to pay attention to this whenever they're ramping up the fuel to be sure that all the bubbles are pulled out of the system. Let's take a look at what happens here. You can see we're running at a very high kilowatt output there. And you see that pop up? Those air bubbles that were in this line have now disappeared into the burner and it was not able to sustain combustion with that. We're going to take a look at a small bubble here see what it does. There it goes. It can eat a small bubble without any problems. Didn't have any problems at all right there. So no big deal on the small bubbles but we definitely want to make sure the line is primed when we go to ramp up the fuel. So. Let's get down to the determinant of the output of these things. The air is not the way to go. We want to go with one of these flow gauges here. You can see here the calculation we use. We're at 0.378 liters per minute, and we would then multiply liters per minute by 60 to get liters per hour. We then multiply liters per hour by 10,000, and that gives you the watts. You divide the watts by a thousand to get kilowatts. It's a very simple process. Um, I'll leave the equation in the description so that you can get a better look at it. But it's as simple as can be. Every liter per hour you burn is 10,000 watts of energy. So just kind of remember that. And we've got to kind of take these flow rates with a grain of salt. I don't know how accurate these gauges are per se. I haven't actually calibrated them. So, pretty simple to just use this, do a little simple math, and you can even write on the side what the kilowatt output is after you do the math for every setting, or you can just have your crew run the burners at whatever liter per minute you determine to be the kilowatt output you want them to run it at, rather than confusing them with all this math and all that jazz. I think that ought to work out. So, there you have that. Just wanted to show you guys this awesome flow gauge. This thing is really cool. Glad I decided to pick these up. The air pressure is a little bit different. This is uh, running at pressure with back pressure. So you can't read standard cubic foot per minute off of these gauges because I'm at 80 PSI, as you can see. So that's one cubic foot per minute at 80 PSI. That's not standard cubic foot per minute. Standard cubic foot per minute means atmospheric pressure. They measure air compressor output at the intake, typically not at the discharge. So, just had to share that with you guys. This is a 6.5 horsepower air compressor that's running this thing. And let's take a quick look at this flame in the dark because the daylight really doesn't do it any justice. It just didn't look like 360 kilowatts there or even 200 but when you see it like this I think this is about 120 kilowatts right here this is diesel fuel this is not waste oil and I wanted to show how keeping a little color on these things is a good idea if you turn the fuel up too much it won't clean itself you can see here this is a high velocity flame and what that does is create a huge amount of turbulence inside the kiln area so you don't get any localized heating. So you know sometimes where the flames hit in the back wall you'll get this super hot spot. This creates a tremendous amount of turbulence and it's a known process in the oven industry when they in the big brick ovens for like um, annealing and things like that or pottery. So I just wanted to show you guys this that's about all I got. Well, I'm out of here. I've had about enough of this camera guy. I 
keep trying to fire them, but I just can't seem to let myself go.